Tonight on Breaking at 10 o'clock, it's 56 weeks before the general elections and Jiga has spoken. Last week, during a citizen's town hall, the former chairman of the Independence Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Muhammad Jiga, was asked about the Electoral Act, which is currently in the process of being amended ahead of the 2023 elections. Now, we all know the professor for his ability to stay calm under extreme pressure. In fact, the word Jiga is officially recognized in the Pigeon Dictionary as meaning to be calm about something or a situation like he jigad the situation. So during the town hall, the professor articulated his points in support of passing the amendments calmly and logically. But here to help translate what the professor said into what the rest of us heard is our own Pigeon translator, Jude Polycarp Jens. Thank you very much. And clearly the bill contains quite a lot of substantive improvements. So we must do everything possible to ensure that we go into the next election with a new bill. As it be so, everything with them change, good. But if they know waiting good for them, make them better pass the bill before the election. Now on this issue of direct, indirect uh, primaries, um, I think clearly the electoral process under normal circumstances would have better integrity if you do direct primaries appropriately. Whether na direct or be na indirect na the young, normal, normal direct primaries for better. But we normal. And some of them know for a fact that governors maybe not in Nasarawa, but other governors manipulate the indirect primaries. And they think that if they move into direct primaries, they would be able to free themselves from that kind of manipulation. And they think that that will expand opportunities for citizens' participation. But we need to interrogate these things quite properly. I beg, I know if he shouts, if them feed do magu magu for indirect primaries, them go still do them for direct primaries. Citizenship call participation need. You know, I, I, I would want to see a situation in Nigeria where we can have direct primaries and where we can do it well. As we speak now, Sheun, which of the major political parties has a clear register of members that they can use for direct primaries? I don't tell you, say me. I don't get problem with direct primaries. But we shall never ready to do them for this country. If we ask APC and PDP, make them talk all the people we did their party, them go fit talk, them don't count them. We should be careful about trying to avoid or solve one problem and run into another problem. So to my mind, any governor that manipulates indirect primaries under the present conditions will also have the capacity to manipulate Direct primaries. Because we want Kira, no missing, we go follow him and tell him. Any governor, we go fit do magu magu as things they now, go still do magu magu even if we change him. So make we first focus on the things where we feel control. So, my suggestion, what is key, what is a priority now, is give INEP the law to begin preparations for 2023 elections. And the only way to do it, the simplest way to do it, is not to override uh, 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 Mr. President, Re drop this issue of direct primaries, think more seriously about it. It is good, it should be done. But if we proceed to do it the way we are trying to do it now, we are likely to create more problems than we will solve. My own BC, make them do pass this law, make we feel run for election. National Assembly, make we not do pass on ourselves. These direct primaries matter. Kill him, bury him till another time. Talk don't too much. We for INEC office, don't they prepare for this thing for the last 10 years? Now, we now want to spoil him with all this issue of indirect primaries, direct primaries. So, I beg, make we know what it will work for us. Make we cuckoo use him. It will help us. Well, here you have it. What Jiga said and what the rest of us heard. <laughs>